What's up, chicas? Welcome back to my channel. If you're tuning in for the first time, I have to say welcome to my channel. Super happy that you're here. My name is Frances Michelle, and today's video is a talk through, get ready with me video. If you're my Snapchat fam, you guys have requested this makeup look. Um, this is just my everyday makeup look, guys. This is the makeup look that I've been going for. Um, this past couple of weeks, you guys seen it on Snapchat, um, and you guys been asking me, hey friends, you should do a tutorial on this look and whatnot. So I was like, you know what, let's go ahead, let's film it. <clears throat> so I decided to do a get ready with me with you guys because it's pretty much exactly what I do on an everyday basis when I have to go out and I have to run errands. So I decided to sit down and record it for you guys today. So um, yeah, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, you guys want to be part of my girlfriends here on YouTube, all you have to do is hit that subscribe button right down there. It don't buy, but it will change your life, literally. Yes, it would. Yes, you know it will. <laughs> and if you guys want to follow me on all my social medias, you guys already know the deal. Everything is on the description box down below. So now if you guys want to see how I achieve my everyday full coverage um, makeup look, then all you have to do is keep on watching. Um, I just go ahead and dip my brows because I do that normally off camera, but I'm going to tell you guys what I use for my brows. And I use the Brow Gall um, palette. This is called the Convertible Brow 02. So I guess it's like on their middle shade. So this is what it looks like. I'm going to show you the inside. It has three shades. It has um, like that blonde, that gray, and then that dark. And um, this is what I've been using for my brows lately because I ran out of my Benefit brow and it's so expensive. I'm like, hell no, I got no money for that. So, all right, so <clears throat> after I do my brows, I like to prep my skin and I use the, um, I always use the moisturizer on the It Cosmetics moisturizer. I absolutely love this, absolutely love this moisturizer. It's like, holy girl moisturizer. And then I'm gonna go ahead and prep my skin using the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores um, Primer. I feel like this is like one of the best primers I have used in my life, actually. I'm not gonna lie about it. So we're gonna move into foundation. And I'm gonna be using the Huda Beauty uh, Fall Fix Fox Filter Foundation, which is right now um, the only one I'm using at the moment. I sometimes mix it a little bit with the LA Girl Pro Glow Pro uh, Pro Coverage HD Foundation right here because um, this was a little lighter than my skin because I am tanning, but right now um, it works perfectly fine. So I like to just take a damp beauty blender, and this is the e.l.f. silicone one, which I'm obsessed with it. And I just like to just pretty much draw this on my face. Boop, boop, boop. A couple of drops. All right, so I am breaking out, so I like to apply a little bit of color correcting. I'm using the Pro, this Infallible L'Oreal Pro Coverage um, Color Corrector Palette. And I'm just gonna dab a little bit here. I'm supposed to do this before the foundation. I just. I'm all over the place, people. All over the place. So I broke out right there. So let's just go ahead and blend. Yeah, you, you think you got the best of me. But just because I'm giving you my love for free, are things I go in with the same color correcting palette and I use this corner color right over here to um, sort of color correct my under eyes because they are dark. Telling up. everyone about us, but you are not the only one I call for fun. Late night to hear love guns. No, you won't see that I'm lying to. Concealer brush and I'm gonna use the same color and I'm just going to prep my lids okay so now we're gonna move on to concealer and I'm gonna be using a little last bit that I have from my it cuts for my from my um tart shape tape concealer like this here is bomb.com and I literally literally have run out I am scraping the last bit of this concealer like oh no you don't hear when 
with um this powder is like my holy girl this is the Kat Von D locket powder I feel like there is literally nothing no other powder out there that won't dry my under eyes and definitely it's gonna like set it and I don't feel like there's nothing out there like that I don't use the Laura Mercier secret brightening powder because it literally dries my under eyes really bad sometimes it happens to people sometimes it doesn't happen to people you know, do you boo-boo. So, <clears throat> excuse me. And we're just gonna heavy duty pack on some powder, heavy duty. So then what I like to do is I like to take a powder brush and I like to set my face with the same um, powder. So what I do is whatever's left on the cap of it, I just pretty much um, set this areas right here where it has no powder. And I like using this one because like I said, it locks my foundation in place. Then when I do that, I like go ahead and do my contour slash bronzing. So I'm gonna be using the Nip Fab uh, Contour Palette, which has, I have used it a lot. As you can see, I don't like it at all. <laughs> I'm gonna use that bronzer on the other side right here because it's the only one I have left. Um, I like to use this humongous fan brush because I feel like it just sits there and just kind of like gives me the perfect angle and the perfect um, size of the contour. But if you don't feel comfortable using a big brush like this, you can use a smaller brush. And the other one that I use is this Luxie brush, which is like a pointy uh, brush. It's supposed to be for a highlighter, but I use it for um, bronzer. So it's sort of small, so it fits perfectly under my uh, bone right here. But I'm gonna go ahead and use this one and just pretty much dab the color. Get rid of anything ex extra and just mark it right there where I want it to sit. Very light strokes, guys. Oh, you, you tell me that I made you think If we have something special more than happy drinks You'll go without blinking No, you won't see Okay, so now what I like to do is finish off my baking process and then I like to go ahead and bake this part of the face after I do my contour because I really like to carve that out there. I try baking like for real, for real. One time my husband bought me like all the things for baking because I kind of wanted to be a baker. Like all of a sudden I wanted to open up a cupcake shop and I've never in my life baked not even a single cookie. And I was like, I want to open up a bake shop. And it was just crazy. Like, I was like, really? Seriously? So he bought me everything like usual. And um, I started doing it. And um, yeah, it's going great. You know, it's going great. I have a baker. I have like three bakeries already. I sucked at baking. So literally, this is the only baking I do, guys. All right. So we're going to just let that sit there <clears throat> um, while I do my eyes. So the eyes is very simple, guys. I promise. <laughs> so... <clears throat> I'm gonna just set my eyes with a little bit of powder because as you guys saw, I used um, concealer. So let's just set my face, my eyes so my, it'll be easier to apply the eyeshadow. So I'm gonna use the Modern Renaissance palette for this one. So very simple eyes guys, honestly speaking. We are going to be using the color um, Buon, Buon Fresco. I had to choose the hardest one. So it's, we're gonna be using this color right here, like a mauve color. <sighs> All right, so we're gonna grab a blending brush. We're just gonna grab some of the blending blush, and then we're just going to apply that on the crease, like this. It's gonna bring a little bit of color onto our crease. Now 
Now for the hardest part of this look, honestly speaking, is the wing line. I like to use the um, It Cosmetics uh, Superhero Liner because it gives me control of the tip. So what I like to do is wherever my top part ends, right here, I just pretty much set the liner there and light strokes start bringing it upwards until as far as I want the line to go and then halfway there I bring it down okay something like that guys <sighs> all right so once the liner is done um, you have two options if you know how to do lashes then you can pop out some lashes I love using with this look and it's the ones I've been using lately are the um, Coco Lashes Queen B. I feel like they go perfectly with this look since there's nothing on the eyes to hide because these lashes are very wispy and they're very full as you can see. So I feel like this lash is perfect for this look. So you can pop on lashes if you like. Um, you see, you can pop lashes. It's going to make your eye look more, more like dramatic and even though you didn't do it. Um, if you're just pretty much... Listen friends, I ain't got no time for lashes, okay? So I already took a long time doing my wing liner. I just want to be done with it. So then I recommend using a mascara that is going to make your lashes pop. If you don't have a lot of lashes, if your lashes are very like um, skinny or whatever, recommend using an uh, eyelash curler and curl your lashes before you apply your mascara. It does a huge difference, guys. So the mascara that I love using is the um, It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. I feel like this is my holy girl mascara. I mean, it's amazing. So I like to take the wand and start very close to my lash line and wiggle it up and start on the outside of the lash and then I like to work my way inside because we can't forget all the little tiny hairs because we need we need the whole eye to pop. Alright guys so <clears throat> went home. I went, to, I went to town on mascara so I just pretty much placed a lot of mascaras on my lashes and of course I can't forget my bottom lashes. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean off the rest of the face and I'm gonna just grab a small pointy brush. This is a real technique. I think if I'm not mistaken, this is a uh, concealer brush. It's very old, it's like when they came out. And I'm just gonna go ahead and clean my face. I'm just gonna remove all the baking part of my falls. All right, so now we're gonna brighten a little bit more and I'm gonna be using, like I said, that yellow um, banana color from here. One of my favorite um, banana colors is the Kat Von D Locket, um, I'm sorry, Shade and Light Palette for contouring. Like, that is my holy girl. If you guys wanna put a little bit of color, um, I sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, depend on how rushed I am. I like, I've been using this Butter Blush by Physicians Formula and it's a beautiful mauve color. It's in the color Vintage Rogue. Super buttery, super pigmented, and it smells so good, guys. <clears throat> Again, this is totally extra. I do it when I have time and I just wanna bring a pop of color to my cheeks. Just like that, that's it. <clears throat> okay, so now we're gonna do the highlight and we're gonna blind them with our halots. And guys, I can't tell you how obsessed I am with this highlight palette, like seriously though. This is the Sam Marcel Luxurious Highlight Palette and Dior Cream and Soleil. So it's this one here, this one, and this one. That's what I like to do. Look at this, look at this. Look at that. I'm blinding. On my own. On my own. No, you don't hear when I told you I fear we are done. That we are done. Jenner matte liquid lipstick. Um, this is from her Send Me Nudes collection. Um, I can't really read which one this is. I think this is bare, um, but I will put it on the bottom part. So it's like a mauve nude color. This is what Pally
tutorial like I said I for me it's very simple to do guys honestly um, yeah and as usual if you haven't subscribed to my channel like you were supposed to before you jumped into the tutorial hit the subscribe button <laughs> anyways guys thank you so much for your love thank you so much for your support thank you so much for sticking till the end muchos besos I'll see you ladies on my following video adios